She scored once, can she do it? She's going over the line and burned for a double! Kiora, hello and welcome to O2 Inside Line Live. I am Claudia McDonald. And I'm Mary Kildon. This is our fourth week down under in New Zealand and we're back in Auckland following our one week stint in Whangarei. And although we're called live, we are 12 hours in front because of the time difference. So if you put your comments in, we might not get back to you straight away because it's a pre-recorded show, but we will at some point. Right, what have we been up to? Ellie, any highlights? Um, a massive highlight for me was actually the past few days, uh, we managed to have a few days off. Um, so, I mean, you were there, so you came with me and we um, got an Airbnb um, up in the mountains in Pia? Yeah. Is that where we were? And yeah, Pihar. the Pia. Pihar. In Pihar. And it was one of the most stunning places I've ever been. Uh, the views were incredible. Of course, you can see it on our Instagrams because we plastered it everywhere. Um, and then we went to the waterfalls the next day and the beach and it was just, the scenery was very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> How about you? What was your highlight? Oh, um, yeah, highlight. Absolutely just seeing some of Auckland, seeing some of Whangarei. Um, it's been beautiful here. I mean, the scenery, as you said, is amazing. The drive back from what was it? The drive back from yeah, yeah. the no, when we went to the Bay of Islands on the boat. Yeah, that was incredible. We went and saw all these like they're almost like floating and they kind of pop out of the water unexpectedly. Uh, and we sort of the, the people on the board that were hosting the the trip were actually very good at informing us about like the islands, the history of them, um, the dolphins. There's bottlenose dolphins here, the biggest ones in the world mm -hmm. of 400 kilos. I've remembered that, um, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then, yeah, just sort of walking up to the top, looking around, yeah, it was beautiful. So that was definitely a highlight. And on the way back, which is what the first bit I thought of, was the sunset on the way back over the kind of like wild landscape of New Zealand was beautiful. Very cool. So would you rather be in Whangarei or would you rather be in Auckland? What's your favourite? Oh, that's a tough choice. Um, I don't think I have a, a favourite. I like both of them and I like that we've been able to dot between the two. You've got like proper city life here in Auckland, but still like the harbour and the water area, which is very nice. And then Whangarei is much more sort of wide, yeah, wild countryside, um, cute little coffee shops in, in, mm. the, in the town, which was really nice. Spend too much money in Auckland, that's yeah. my problem. <laughs> too much money. Um, who's your roommate and how's it been with your roommate? I say who's your roommate, she was As my roommate. Yeah. She was my roommate and it's been stolen off of me. So no, how she, is she? She was mine. <laughs> She was mine and then I wasn't in camp and you <laughs> had her on loan for a little while. It's Helena Rowland we're talking about. Yeah, sorry. Uh, she's a good she roommate. A uh, <laughs> I mean, really, it's pretty tough on whoever your roommate is now, yeah. Gallagher, because you clearly are in some, you know. I know, I've not made it light, have I? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not I can miss her. No, Rosie, Rosie's great. Um, we have a lot of nighttime chats and, you know, you yeah, know what I like. Yeah, pillow talk. If that's what you want to call it. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been nice. Got got a few nights of sick, just singing along to songs. I'm sure Helena does that as well, though. Yeah, very, very good singer. Yeah. I so. do sing. And then she sort of out sings me. Every no, she probably harmonises with you. Let's be honest. I don't think Helena you can. Rowan is I'm a fan. Sure you can harmonise with me. <laughs> Try harmonising with a drowning cat. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so what's been your favourite beach that we've been to? Because I know for me, yesterday or the day before was pretty special. It was like a black sand beach that cool. we looked over from the apartment that we were in, and yeah, when we went down there, it was. It was, was it called? Carrie, sparse. Carrie, 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 um, Carrie, 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 Carrie,
won't talk about that but um yeah so that was beautiful and it, it just felt quite uh cool that we were the, almost like the only people there there were some backpackers that came across and it felt like we we're on a desert it was <laughs> it was really really cool um yeah so that's been my favorite beach at the moment what about you yeah oh, i just love to be honest i just love the beach so all of them but um if i can't choose that one then oh oh i don't know it's really tough the one that we went to on the way up to Fangare, you know, we stopped and played cricket out on the beach. I think there might be a little video of us playing cricket somewhere. Um, but yeah, that was a beautiful beach. We sort of arrived and you kind of walk over like a little sand dune um, down onto the beach. And as you come up, you just see this like gorgeous blue mm. sea and white sand, the contrast of the two. And it's just vast. Like it just goes on forever on both sides. That was, that yeah. was pretty cool. I think that was R Ruakaka, Ruakaka Beach. Yeah, I mean, I just say the beach. Okay, what's been your favourite TikTok you've done so far? Oh, I, I did a TikTok with Shauna and Sadia that uh, I'd say we aced. Um, <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, and if you don't know, you can go onto my handle and have a look. <laughs> a bit of a shout out there. A bit of a self plug. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no, that's been my favourite one. There's a few that we've got in the mix, uh, a few that I, we're trying to get together and, and do, but it's finding the right time to do it, really. My TikTok handle is just Ellie Kildon. One L in the Kildon and two N's. People spell it wrong a lot. Or they say Kildon, eh? Or they say Kildoon, so. <laughs> Kildoon. Yeah, Kildoon, how Ellie it sounds. Kildoon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get a little bit more of a taste of what's been going on in camp. Um, we've got an Inside Line Red Roses video coming up with all the best bits. <laughs> Coach Simon Middleton into the attack. Down to Morwenna Telling. Oh, look at that. Perfect off breaker from Middleton. Clapping himself. Coach to captain. Watch this. Middleton to Sarah Hunter now. As you'd expect, Sunter leading from the front. Solid drive, that one. Ethan Kinney with a change of bowling into Hunter now. There's no run there. Surely, sharp field work. Gone. In the end, Infante decides to go down that far side channel. McDonald is there. She's over again. She can play at scrum half. She can play on the wing. That's what Simon Middleton wants from her. Since I've been back, I've been sort of flip-flopping between nine and, and wing. It's always been part of my game. I, I, when I was at Wasps, I was always chopping and changing between scrum half and wing. Um, when I first came into England camp, I probably well, I had a lot more experience on the wing than I did at scrum half. To, to be fair to Claude, the best position is, is what the team needs. Hi, I'm Kate Tyler. I'm one of the physios for the Red Roses. So I was due to run the London Marathon. At the time, I wasn't meant to be coming with the team, but found out through the pre-season that I had the opportunity to come out, which was obviously amazing. So I deferred my place for the London Marathon and said that I might try and run a marathon when I was out here. Little did I realise quite how big that would become. And you can watch the full episode of Inside Line Red Roses on England Rugby's YouTube and Facebook pages. So here on O2 Inside Line Live, we're wanting to stay connected to all the friends and family and people watching back at home. So let's answer a few of your questions and yeah, see what you've got to ask. Hey speedsters, I've got one question for you. Now if you went head to head in an 100 metre race, who would win? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Ellie. Who is faster? She knows she's faster. Who's fine because you're but stronger. I'm stronger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Ellie wins that one. Who's fast? Well, we haven't raced, um, really. No, we haven't, we haven't raced. raced. I mean, I'm still waiting for it. What's your What's your high speed meters? I don't know. As in what? Sorry, what's your top? Um, <laughs> your top GPS score? I don't know. I hit a, a 9.32 the other day. Little show off over here. I had I I even... 9.32 yeah. the other day. No, I got I got told in PB in the oh. game. I missed the first tackle and then chased after and then they scored. <laughs> but it was in the chase down Don't that I got it. 
Hey, Steve in London here, and I want to know what is the best thing you have eaten since being out in New Zealand? Okay. I know what my favourite is. <laughs> I know what my favourite is. <laughs> it's going to be the same. Okay, so best thing that I've eaten. Let's say at the same time, okay? Okay. The place. Okay. Three, two, one. Amano's. Amano's. Yes. <laughs> New okay, place. and what was the thing? Three, two, one. Pan, Pan of chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Because it's incredible. Yeah. It actually tastes like a croissant, which it should normally do, but they don't. It tastes like a croissant with random bits of chocolate through it. Yeah, and, and that is just the best thing yeah, ever. Yeah, there's also like a, you can heat it in this like stone fire. And I've got an ASMR video that I have still got on my phone, but haven't ever used. Um, <laughs> where like it crunches, but then it's so soft underneath. So yeah. if you can imagine it back home, it's like a pillow. That's like, <laughs> when you put a, your head on a cold pillow and then it just sinks all the way in. That's how I describe it anyway. <laughs> Except it's warm and crispy. <laughs> so all of that, but warm and crispy. Yeah. <laughs> so not cool and fluffy <laughs> at all. <laughs> Depends how long yeah, you leave it. Uh, <laughs> like a cold pillow. <laughs> that you put your head on and it crunches and then goes. <laughs> <laughs> this week we also saw the third episode of the England Rugby podcast of O2 Inside Line, where our mate Sadia Kabea is talking about her early life and fitting into rugby. I hope that rugby really does become way more diverse and I see a lot of young black girls who didn't think this would be an opportunity for them coming through the pathway. When you see someone who looks like yourself and sounds like you and you can have these shared experiences, it makes you completely relaxed and it makes you feel like you can be yourself while playing sport at such a high level, while being around people who you never would have met before, who have culturally different backgrounds, you still feel like you can communicate and play rugby and have a laugh and make friends while being yourself. And I think that is something huge, especially for young girls coming in the game. You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line. I'm Sada Kabea. And the full episode of that podcast is available on Apple, Acast or wherever it is that you listen to your podcasts. Right, it's game time. So me and Claude are now going to play Ring Toss. So game on. Let's see who's going to be winning. I might be faster, but... See who's better at this. You need strength or power or speed. <laughs> <laughs> right, you space. can go first, Sam. Oh, can I? Okay. Back on. I, I back can't. Here. I'm covering. Uh, mm. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Oh, you can't say that. Sorry. You, say, you said that so he didn't get put up. You can blow your mouth out for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Snap. <laughs> what was the top score? Mine's, I don't, mine's well, my, I'm on, you I'm gave on me a, enough one. You nap, can have one of these. I don't want one. I'm on 125, just saying. Okay. Oh, that one's rubbish. Oh, <laughs> no. Mine aren't round. Do you want to stop? <laughs> no. Closing my eyes for this one. Oh. <laughs> it's the same. We it's got the same score. <laughs> no. Yeah, you missed two. That's not No, one. you missed one. I've only missed one. That's you a miss. missed two. You missed two. I missed one. I got... Yeah, well, I got two 50s 25. and a 25. There's four on the 50. Yeah, I got, I got two 50s, a 25 and a 5. Where's your five? Is that on? Well, it could be 20 or 25 or five. But that's not on the thingy. Right, I'll go again. I'll go again. Then. I'll go again. That's not on the thingy. It's my because. So. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, no, because if otherwise I just do this. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so. Do you want the same It one? may have been a draw. It may, it may, may have been a draw. But we're going to do one more shot. Is it just one or three? Three shots. Three. Three shots, three. and who can get the highest okay. in them three shots? Do you want to just move that so we can remember who did what? <clears throat> you can go first. <laughs> mm, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that was not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick on my finger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Well, that is not good. <laughs> Got one of <laughs> all of them. All right. all right, fine. Fair enough. You won the first one, I won the second. Okay. <laughs> That's it for this O2 Inside Line Live. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for all of your support you've given us up until now. We've absolutely loved it. We've felt it all. It's been incredible and it really does make all the difference. And make sure that you're following all of England Rugby Socials to get more behind the scene content over here in New Zealand. Kakiti Ano. Goodbye.